This was the intro. I've been getting a lot of emails. People want editing rigs. It's like, it's like what you guys are doing for a living now, everyone's editing. I think everybody's on YouTube uploading like pictures of their cat and they all want to put them in After Effects and do like fire coming out of the cat's ears. That's not going to get you extra hits, guys. What you need is a cat that frowns all the time. We know all the secrets here, but we, we will humor you and give you a $1,500 editing rig. And then I'm also going to do like a $2,000 editing slash gaming rig. This one is strictly for editing and you can do it for $1,300 to $1,500. So let's get started. We are going to use the Intel i7-3770K. That's a 3.4 gigahertz quad core and um, it's got uh, four physical cores and um, it does, it's hyper threaded. So you can, you know, you'll see eight, eight threads running at the same time. It's just fast as hell, and you can overclock it quite a bit. Um, the Ivy Bridge is not as overclockable as the Sandy Bridge, but that's okay. You can still push it, push it quite a bit. For the CPU cooler, I'm going to grab the NZXT Havoc 140. Recently, we had a really good experience with that thing. That thing was cold. Was it not, Max? Ice. It was cold as ice. I think I'm about to break into a ballad, but I'm I'm going to reserve. And I'll wait till later, and then I'll sing my ballad. But yeah, I really like that thing. Two 140 millimeter fans on there. Uh, you do need you do need a large case, so or you need a case without lots of junk in the way, and you also need some RAM that's not going to get in the way too. But we'll be fine with this system. Uh, for the motherboard, we are going to grab the MSI Z77A uh, GD65. Now I like this one because compared to a lot of the other uh, Z77 boards in its um, price range, it has four six gigabit SATA ports instead of the two that you see on a lot of them, which hurts my head. This thing will support DDR3-2667, that's with overclocking of course, uh, but it supports 2400 megahertz memory. I mean, you could even grab uh, some of this, which I highly recommend, but it might be a little too expensive for this build. Uh, this is the Kingston HyperX uh, Beast memory. Now the Beast memory is clocked at 2400 megahertz and it's stupid fast. We'll be using that a lot because I, I, I really like how fast it is. Um, but back to the motherboard it does support up to 32 gigabytes of ram so it's a pretty loaded board and you can do a lot with it moving right along from the memory we're going to grab the g skill rip jaws x series 16 gigabytes of that uh running at 1866 and um i like that one mainly because it's really high quality memory uh, and the price is right but if you want to go a little bit crazier you can always grab the uh, the beast Always good to grab the beast, but don't wake the beast when you grab the beast, because the beast will have a feast on you. That's their new marketing stuff I came up with for them. They called me up like, Logan, can you write a marketing thing for you? I was like, yeah, I'd write a little marketing thing for you. So they're using that officially. I speak for Kingston. <laughs> so much trouble. Um, for the storage, first off, let's talk about mash storage two terabyte drive from seagate which grabbing a barracuda and that's going to be our storage to store all our photos on there and all our video files and all that stuff if you have the money get two of those and run them in raid one for security purposes uh, now for the os and for your editing environment we're going to grab two occ vertex four drives uh, 128 gigabytes i also endorsed the kingston HyperX and the uh, a data sx 900 i've used all of these drives personally a lot of people ask me about the Corsair drives and the Crucial drives and the Intel drives. I actually haven't used those drives personally. Uh, I have used these and they work really well. We've got like 10 HyperX 3Ks and they're all running really, really, really nicely. No, no failure. So that's really epic. So to have that many and none fail, quite happy with those. Um, we're going to get two of those and we're going to run them in RAID 0 for speed. It's good. For the video card, EVGA GeForce GTX... Uh, 670. And how many CUDA cores does it have, Max? Uh, 670, 1344. 1344. Yes, thank you very much. Max has one in the system right now. And you've got a, a Core 2 quad, like an old... We're about to upgrade that to the uh, 3770 here, but you've got an old Core 2 quad, and just by putting the 670 in there, you've like well, cut your render times like in a third, right? So if you're using Adobe products and you want to take advantage of CUDA, you're going to have a lot of fun with the GTX 670. Also, um, a lot of the super clocked and the, you know, the FTW versions... Uh, are on sale right now, so so check those out. Those are nice. Uh, you're going to benefit more from the CUDA cores than you are from the overclock, and you can also do some overclocking yourself with EG EVGA's Precision X. We did a video on that. You can check it out. There's a link on the screen for the EVGA Precision X tutorial. Did a little overclocking with the 680. That was fun. For the case, I, I love the Fractal Design R4. In the price range, it's like 89 bucks right now. You cannot get a case of this quality for 89 bucks. It just does not happen. It's solid. You got a lot of room in there, and it's uh, it's sleek and elegant too. I like that. I mean, it's 
that's an opinion and if, maybe if you're cool you'll share that opinion i don't care you can you can like whatever you like okay i'm not going to tell you what to like you better like that for the power supply X xfx pro series 850 watt it's a uh, an 80 plus silver certified power supply xfx uh uses the boards the same boards that seasonic does so they're going to be really nice on the inside to just quality parts one nice 12 volt rail in that as well and 850 watts is more than enough power. You'll be, even be able to add to the system if you have 850 watts. So there you go. It's 119 bucks. Last, the optical drive. I'm just grabbing a $15 uh, light on. I has three, two, four, nine, eight. I'm always so depressed about these things. I know it's fine. You can, you can grab whatever you want, but uh, I'm not a just whatever. If it breaks, throw it in the trash. Just grab some cheap crap. That's it. Okay, the total for that was 14.50 and 38 cents. That's shipped to your door. That's not bad for uh, a pretty epic editing rig. You can get a GTX 680 in there and be a little bit over. Um, I might rather have this than a GTX 680. Because with this, it'll really um, help you overclock your CPU. Just having good RAM that'll... Yeah, which makes makes me happy. So that's that. Uh, I'm also going to do like a $2,000 rig. So if you're curious about that, it's going to be similar to this build. We're going to use a lot of the same parts, but... A little bit different. I mean, this one you can game on, of course, but I uh, probably would do a few different things with the storage. I don't think we we would need to raid uh, the primary drives, but whatever. Whatever. Sick of this, man. Subscribe. Why am I using this voice? I don't like it. I'm going to stop it right about now. So subscribe down here. It's I uh, can't reach it. It's over there somewhere. Can I can I reach it? Is that in my off yeah, camera right now? Yeah, it's off the camera. Yeah, I, it's it's over there somewhere. Okay, it's a subscribe thing. YouTube moved it. I think YouTube's trolling me. They keep moving it. So all the old videos, I'm like, yee, and it's down there. YouTube, go sit on a, a spiny cactus horse. See you guys next time.